Garfield, though. Here's oh, the first payment of your reward. A me three. It's a giant piece of shit. I'm up That's what I think you are, Beverly. Oh, and that's all we know. I'm sorry, I'm just an asshole. Thanks. Now this story has a very important task for you. Do the book have me? Do the book have me? Heart of the mountain, now locked in the treasury. Give me the ark to the treasury so I can finally crack it straight up my need to open those doors first. <laughs> Back to oil. So I can complete my set of anal Oh, God. Yeah. So it's not the ark and stone, it's the farting stone then. The ark and You've got a good pun. Ew. Oh, hey, we're joined by Bogey. Also, um, Philbo's, uh, sprite has actually changed, or not sprite, his model has actually changed. He actually does have the mithril vest on. Does it do anything play-wise, or...? No! Hmm. Makes him feel pretty. Jack and shit, except make him feel pretty, yeah. So, when you have Jack and shit, do you just give it the shit and have Jack and shit instead? No. Do you like Jack and coat? No. Look. You got two things, Jack and shit. Jack left town. So, party in my place. What you get to do here is flip these blocks until you can complete these these ruins. Yes, flip these blocks, little belly, little bitch. It, it's not exciting, and I kind of hate it. So, I like how all these dwarves never do anything. They just stand around watching Bilbo do stuff. Yep. That's what they did in the fucking book! Basically. Eesh, they at least ran around and did things. Here, they just kind of sit around waiting for their smut break. It's almost like we're not player characters. We must have more limited options than we want. Slowly, it's devolving uh, into Sydney Green Street. So, we all know what <laughs> You know what a Karen is, right? Yes. In this world, are the Sackville's Bagginses, are they like the Karen of this world? Oh, boy. Most likely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Think about it, aren't we all Karen in our own? No. <laughs> well, I certainly don't, I certainly don't care about it. No. Luckily, there's only two of these, these matchy up puzzles that I have to do. And they're not that hard. They're just not that exciting either. So, Max, a bold puzzle. You'll be treated to a dwarven gangbang. I also love how, back at home, everybody just assumes Bilbo died. Oh, yeah, he hasn't been home for a year, and he told no nobody way. where he was going. Didn't, in a way, didn't he die? Isn't it the Bilbo that we have now no, a he, different person? No, he was person? murdered by Peter Jackson! <laughs> that is true. Here's true Nemo was turned into Peter Jackson's sex toy by the author of Darkies. I want to make a pun or a joke that makes you guys just fucking cry One of these days. Well, I'll keep trying. TT, why did you just say that sentence that you just said? <laughs> I don't even remember what it was. Because TT is the goddamn devil. Well, I have, me, I have video proof. Tuesday. I have video proof of what you said, and I hope you watch it back and go, What the hell is the matter with me? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I'm sure at 4 a.m. my brain will let me have the business. You have a brain? Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, they're nothing but trouble. I don't recommend I was, I was confident that your entire skull was just filled with, like, I don't know, Gatorade or whatever keeps you fucking juiced. Sarazawa's got that lizard juiced. <laughs> Man, why do people make the human characters in that movie? I don't lock. know! Like, that guy was the only one I'm like, eh, he's a little... You know, it's just... I don't think I don't think most Westerners can really understand a Godzilla movie. That's how I'm No, no, Westerners understand it fine. I don't it's think it's assholes who don't understand it. 
I don't know, the people who I've talked to in person that work, they, they, they were seem more confused by the movie. And yet my statement has not changed. <coughs> Look, there's a point, there's a point of just hating Godzilla because you want But if you don't know- Alright, what, what are you three fuckers farting? <laughs> I have all the animals in my room and it's only a foul stench started to come from the air. It's probably your dog. Oh. I wasn't playing around with them. I, when the moment I yelled at them, all three of them ran out. They all simultaneously <laughs> shit themselves in your room. They have oh. smelt it. You have dealt it. Uh, <laughs> it's like let's see. You don't know this is the dog. Remember, Shady's cats are just horrible, apparently. <laughs> I like how all three grail. Like, fuck, I did it. No, fuck, I did it. Wait, you did it? I did it? No, we did it. Fuck, run, cheese it. Here I did. Every single one of them just ran out of your door. That's hilarious to me. <laughs> Like, I don't even know what I'm being yelled at for, but fuck it, I'm out. <laughs> okay. Uh, it says something when I miss the puzzles of God of War. <laughs> this isn't really a puzzle. The, the first one, I mean. The first one didn't have too many. It had plenty of puzzles. They were annoying. Yeah, exactly. They're annoying, they broke gameplay like son of a bitch. The first this game one, had this one play. doesn't really have gameplay, but I feel like it just breaks it all the same. <laughs> it's, a, it's a properly done Hobbit game. No, it's not. It, it's, it's passable. If the lock picking as you can, minigame was as not as in here. Make, get the treasure how a Hobbit like, video game be? Like, like, literally, this is what all Bobo does. He goes around, he takes treasure, I mean, sort of, kind of, and he hides while he's doing it. It's well, you forget game. about his many serial murders. Yeah. You know, the, Look, that, that huge really part of the book Bobo. where Bobo went around just, you know, stalking prostitutes. Look, all he yeah. did was kill Casey's friends. That's all she did. What? Wait, what? <laughs> Spiders. Oh, yeah. He does do a lot of that. There's a lot of genocide, that's true. I would call Killed it my friends. Bilbo Baggins. Shire Baggins. Shire Baggins. I am looking for Shire Baggins. You know what Shire Baggins seems to got some jewelry my boss wants. Oh god. It's a good we're willing thing to pay. It's a good thing the fucking ring race were not that stupid. Or maybe they were. <laughs> I don't know, no one knows who this Shire Baggins guy is. Do we have the wrong name? No, we don't have the wrong name, Charlie. Gollum's very trusted. I don't know, he didn't seem like he was in his right mind. Charlie, I swear to God, I'm gonna slap him. Don't surprise me if they let we me go. We should make tracks! Oh, oh fuck up, Larry. It always surprised me if they let Gollum go. I mean, I understand why. He can kind of track the ring through his ring sense or whatever. It's his bone. But... It's his bone. You know it's his bone. But still, like I like, think it was the smell that decided to make them let him leave. Cause like a, a golem stink is hard to get out of a room. Like you'll be scrubbing for months after he's gone. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> okay. Now well, I think it's the orcs who let him leave, but the ring race wanted to keep him there. The orcs like, no, this this guy stinks too much. We have to let him leave. Fuck our boss. Why the fuck would the ring race listen to orcs? They didn't. The orcs stuck him out. This doesn't track at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. Put, sorry. They... <laughs> Yeah, okay, I'm beginning to think that you don't- you, you're, you're just making shit up for a lot of funnies. No, he's right. They just kind of put him in a glass jar and sho shoot him out the door one night. <laughs> also, good god these spiders ate your health. Yep. Yeah. They're these skinny little red ones. It really- it really so brings to mind- What they done was like- like fucking spiders they put on Smeagol my into- they put Pete Smeagol <coughs> into a barrel, and they sent him down the Mordor River. What does it have a river? That's a river of lava, but it doesn't have any- that's why it's a. Oh, it, it, okay. it, that actually does. That have was... Oh, it does? Yes. It does? Oh. It, it, there's a giant plain next to the Mount Doom where they're farming in the. Power the lift system. Mineral rich. Uh, powers those you know, up there. Volcano field. When active, we can travel the, all over these there's halls. a giant fucking army and they need food. So room. I guess who gets uh, to work there? There's not much you can do in here. Go to the water room, Bilbo. That's right, Gollum. Exactly. <laughs> That's where the Gollum went. They put him to work in the fields. 
but then they weren't watching him one day and he just kind of slipped off. Yeah, it's fair. He's still kind of a hobbit-esque creature, so he could just slip off and no one's looking. No, that's not actually what happened. <laughs> they don't need the legs. No, we just, we just kind of let him go because fuck it, who cares about Gollum? Where'd we're, we're Gollum? Alright. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh fuck, boss is gonna be so mad. Hey guys, where's Gollum? I, I wanted to talk, talk to him about these TSA reports. Uh, I think he made a mistake on document page 7. <laughs> they, no, they made an excuse saying, hey, we ate him because we're allowed to fucking eat each other. Oh, we, we no. ate him. No, what they did, what they did was they found a skinny looking orc who <laughs> looked the part, dressed him up in racks, and put him in, in, in his own cell. Alright, Gallum, your name's Gollum now. Aw, that's gonna be hard to remember. <laughs> Nobody tell him we plan to kill him. What? Shit. <laughs> no, no, we can't have you speaking to give it away, so we're just supposed to, gonna put this in your mouth and you have to keep it until they chop your head off. <laughs> well, if, they, if they want him to speak like Gollum, all they have to do is, is just cut out his tongue. No, they, they, no, they chop off his sentries. I feel like that wouldn't work, you'd just be higher pitch. Exactly, it makes it sound more like a Spiegel. He was pretty gravelly. Again, I'm really glad that I invited you guys to do this. Just, like, the best life decision I've ever had. <laughs> so if I make this dragon that wears mascara, I might make them just an official because I feel like I need that in my life. Well, it's up to you. Also, holy shit, Thunder just rolled in. Yeah, I heard that on my end. <laughs> Holy oh, crap! Did? I apologize. Christ, it's kind of raven. How much gas do you have? All of it. <laughs> he has so much gas, the USA is sending troops to his house at the moment. No. I don't give a shit about gas. If, I mean, if you have that much gas, just look at a pipe butt it and just open a gas station. I have a gas. feeling that that's not exactly going to work. <laughs> No, 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 it's really it's just a, it's a positive net gas, and they're not gonna ask where it comes from. <laughs> you really they don't fuel mo uh, cars off of natural gas. God damn it, can I make a fucking joke with this last No! No. <laughs> I think we've established you're not allowed. Yeah, you are allowed jokes. to make huh? jokes! You've made several jokes that we haven't, like, picked apart or done anything about. This is the first one I've messed with. <coughs> okay. This is a fun. Fine. This is a fun little puzzle. You must walk through Erebor to get to its heart. You see what this says? Yeah. Erebor. You're gonna walk through the statue. I have to spell <coughs> Erebor with the ruins here on the statue, with the ruins on the floor over here. Oh, that's assy. That's actually not too bad. Now, if they had like 30 of those goddamn. You had to do it. That's another issue. Also, you I actually can, can go to every single statue in this level, look at the runes and what they say on the bottom, and put them in here, and it will open a like a like a chest somewhere. I don't care enough to do that. Walk it. Walk it. We're live. <laughs> Fuck it. We're doing that. it live. <laughs> I'm not paying that fucking. Also, Casey, you can't, you can't post clips like that when I'm doing a fucking video. What? I'm gonna die. No, Casey, <laughs> <laughs> it gets funnier every time I look at it. Oh, that's shit. Okay, I'm going back to the video. Okay, look at it. Just the average screen. No doubt. Power functions in other rooms. Oh, okay. Those that go out the side. So Erebor oh, runs on water I power. I, I can't watch that because it's those switches to direct the water. <laughs> so I, I have the to, I have to put the water through all of all of the channels on the floor here to get everything running at once. So it's another puzzle. That, that shit still runs in Erebor. Would you call cool to build stuff to last? Hey, yeah, I mean, Smog couldn't play his his uh, his Xbox if the water wasn't running, you know, so he made sure that shit was still going, because otherwise, how can he keep up with his halo? Yeah, that's well, 
that's why he needed all the gold, is to pay for his Xbox Live subscription. And for this life-size statue of Master Chief. Goes right up my ass. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Why would I shove my favorite video game man up my ass? He, he, also, bought a, he also bought a Cortana body with a bow. Goddamn Halo fanboys. Don't shove anything Master Chief up their ass. No, no, no. I'm pretty good. sure Microsoft's too busy doing that. <laughs> Uh-huh. All of those Sorry, statements are true. You gotta milk the shit out of you again, and over. And they have them titties, Master Chief. <laughs> gotta milk you. Come on! Oh, you couldn't wow. even finish that sentence. <laughs> oh, we need that still again. Oh. So I'm pretty confident they're all Cortana body There is. Yes. She is a fairly popular video game or character in media. She has a lot of Cortana body work stuff. At the end of this, I'm going to have the solution for this to be going through both of the canals here on this cool. side of the room. I don't see many games like this. These are usually fun. Yeah, I do. It's not too hard. Figure it out. Also, I'm pretty sure the dog from fucking, uh, I can't. I'm blanking on it. The aristocrat. No. Yes. Uh, I'm the leader. How uh, does that he's gonna end? Animal, animal Crossing, there we go. Thanks for not helping, uh, Jeffass. Uh, uh, Fuck you. The kingdom I'm pretty sure the, the dog from Animal Crossing is body pillow, so, you know, it's not the highest fucking bar to pass. I mean, I have a body pillow. No, you don't. Actually, you could. There's like a, a a place that where you can make your own body pillow. Just give them an image and they'll transfix it on the pillow and they'll send it. I mean, that would be nice. But as soon as that would you choke literally my make your own body pillow. I would probably get the most quizzical look from both my parents, and then I have to explain that yes, I am a pervert, and yes, you can make fun of me, and I'm not about to let that happen. <laughs> See, I'd get a body, a body pillow and I'd be like, I just want to make sure everyone knows that I love myself. Honestly, I could never let my parents know. The moment they would know, then my brother and my sister would know, and nobody would leave me the fuck alone about it. And they would like to see and badger me. No, GD, you would need a buy pillow, it just be a, a, a big pillow with a crocodile on it so you can hug it. I like, I like this farty music that's playing during this scene. Exactly. A bad comedy music that you hear in every fucking comedy. Special Erebor like, takes place movie. in uh, Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Yeah. Or is it the other way around? They were fart, fart, again. Fart, 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 fart. Oh, lovely. Squirty mix. Squirty. You know what game we should, I should probably let's play for you guys if you ever you know, figure out how to do what Kali's doing? Hmm. Pikmin 2. That's the one where he eats the Pikmin, right? That's the one where Louis wants to eat with Pikmin. He grabs him by the neck and he just bites their little heads off and like juice squirts out. No, that's where Louis vegetable wants, people. That's where Louis wants to eat the Pikmin, but he doesn't. But he gets stuck on the planet and they start to eat bugs and then he has literally cooking notes for every enemy and plant in the game. I'm not making are, this. Up. You're not. Wrong. Are you able to eat the Pikmin, or is that like just a mean uh, thing people did in fan? Cooks? That's that's uh, a mean thing. You cannot. Although they're, they're sentient creatures, you don't eat them. There is, however, a like uh, a Nintendo made short animation that does a very horror esque thing in uh, support of the Pikmin's is trying to like market them, where Olimar is like cutting up uh, pickle pickle chairs and pickle, and the Pikmin mistake them for Pikmin because they look kind of similar, and the Pikmin just freak the fuck out because in their mind he basically has a slasher. You know, just workspace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like he turns around with like carrot juice on his face and like diced up carrots <coughs> everywhere, holding a knife. The Pikmin freak the fuck out and run off. It's like, no, you idiots, it's just carrots. Louis I... doesn't eat them though. Yeah, I. Because they look like pick pick carrots. Yeah, pick pick carrots is what I was saying. Okay. 
so everything is flowing now and all of the secret doors are opening and all, all of the machinery is running. I don't know how the machinery is running because that's forge equipment and... Smog will lie, you'd be very surprised with a toilet flushy. <laughs> it's been 10,000 years! For thousands of years I have laid dormant. Who the hell is with- Oh, hi. How you doing? For 150 years he was unable to take a shit because the toilet didn't run. Oh, he just hibernated. That's why he hibernated. I sleep, I don't have to shit. And he wakes up, ah, fuck that shit! the biggest case of dragon constipation ever. And then we woke up. When he woke up, he was in Peter Jackson's The Hobby. He said, ah, shit, I shat the bed. I am in such pain. This so human. Put me out of my mouth. Thank you. Yeah, I made a funny one there. Nobody took notice. It was alright. Okay. He shat the bed. Peter Jackson small. He shat the bed. You got it, Ack. Peter Jackson small. He shat every the bed. Every joke needs to be a shit joke. Hmm. But all my jokes are shit jokes. <laughs> that was actually funny. <laughs> oh well. Oh, I almost killed myself. You know, I'll take the shitty music over. <laughs> Just the, the waterfall sound forever. I, luckily, I'm leaving that room, I think, forever. Oh, yeah. I, I see, it's exactly when I, I said something about it, you left. Like, okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, like... That's how it works. I can imagine, there's some people who listen to waterfall music to go to sleep. I don't <laughs> understand those people, and they're heretics. Well, I can just imagine you doing the opposite in parties. Well, I don't necessarily fart the music, but, like... I don't know. I don't know. But then prefer over get the sound of rushing <laughs> water. It irritates the crap out of me. I find it hard That's to okay, um, I'm, I lately I've been writing to rain. I like the sound of rain, it's oh. rushing. I love rain. I love Texas. Love rain. rain is beautiful. I don't like to stand in the rain, but I like to watch it and listen to it. That's like- oh, I, I stand in the fucking rain. Every time it rains, I go stand in it for the mess. Yeah, I'm good. Raven, you're not one of your chickens. You don't have to like the rain. They don't like the rain. They hate the rain. Is it true that turkeys will literally dock the sky when it's raining? Some domestic breeds, and then only if they've never experienced rain before. Oh, man, I guess I'm here now. And they don't drown, like, you know, the myth says. That was nice music for 10 seconds. Man, this game is really reminding me of Starbucks. It's just underground mining place, writing. Starbucks Adventure is a better game. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm not. I'm not gonna contest that one. This is not. Speed. This yeah, is a this passable is... game. It's not a good game. Yeah. I would. I would think it's an okay game. I'd say it's tolerable. Not that it's necessarily good or even enjoyable. It's just kind of tolerable. It's passable. It does what it's. It does what it set out to do. It just didn't do it particularly well. Like, so when you I, say it's passable, you pass it like a turd. It's about as good as this story could could be when translated into a game. I disagree. Yeah. <laughs> it was so much better. I know that because the Lego thing. So much better. Yeah, I've never tried the Lego Hobbit because I was always afraid that it was just going to be the movie. They're not. The the Lego games kind of they go it's this, but also not. What a sight! Lego movie <coughs> Lego games do whatever the fuck they want. Kind of, yeah. yeah. I've noticed that. Like they are they are great parodies. The Lego but Jurassic it, World yeah. game is really fun. Oh yeah, that was really good. Like I said, I, they do what they want. I basically grew up on the, the Star Wars Lego games. Those are just great. Those Hilarious. are fun. Uh, yeah, you know what sucks? I really like the cheesy bites of pizza from pizza. You know that, like they have the stuffed crust. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Here's the thing: I can't pick up the slices of pizza because the crust falls off. That's just poor workmanship. Okay, you see that wall there? That's one of the walls that will open if I type in every single statue name in this entire 
like, city into that floor business, so that is going to stay shut. Also, yeah. here's, a, here's a very, very valid question. You are, you are Bilbo Baggins, and this is post-Smog Encounter. Why the fuck are you using a stick to kill spiders when you've got the Sting Sword? Because stick has longer reach. The stick has longer reach, and when I slam it onto the ground, it, that also is a larger area of effect. Yeah, it aliens so, the spiders to death. Does Sting have any purpose in this game? It hits harder uh, than the stick. It's just that I want the spiders to stay as far away from me as possible, and being able to hit them from a longer distance is better. Is weaker damage better, better AoE versus better damage no AoE? Well, that's hurtful to Sting. In fact, you could say it stings. Yeah, well, Sting's Not just really. being regulated to a goddamn lamp this entire game, so what do you expect? Well, that's just hurt. I mean, we haven't fought anything that really Sting. Don't worry, Sting Fires. will be used in the next uh, video. I mean, he's still a beloved musician. I don't. It's, it's not like he's been like sidelined. <laughs> God damn it, TT. So is Alice Cooper, but now we don't talk about it. Welcome to my nightmare. I also like. I think I got me a little. I like feed my friends on though. I think you're gonna feel. Right out. God damn, these spiders are fast. Yeah, yeah they hurt shit. a lot. Yeah, I noticed that. They just wipe up on your ass and bite, bite, bite. This is why I don't like real spiders, because they skitter like this. Wow. I said Fuck real you spiders. Too. You are not a creepy little spider. You are a snake. A pretty spider lady. How could you say that about Casey? I'm calling her a pretty spider lady? Well, I mean, bye. No, not that right. part. No, hey. Don't take my bad timing. <laughs> God. That is what we... That would be fair, it's more speciesist. It's lacist. There's just certain... There's certain body types that certain spiders have that I can't stand. And Nora's my sister. It'd be weird if she did think I'm pretty. I think my sister's pretty, and nothing's gonna come of that. You know who I think is pretty? <laughs> Different ways to call something or think of something that's pretty. You know who I think is pretty? Kate Blanchett, because she is. You're right, she's wonderful. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you know. say so. <sighs> I was gonna say, not all of you. Wow, thanks, wow. Zach. Yeah, <laughs> that move. That's a great <laughs> joke. You just made us feel bad. Congratulations. Oh, please, I don't even know what happened. Congratulations. Happens. Congratulations. 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 Uh, <laughs> fucking hate that. <laughs> fucking hate that ending so much. What? <laughs> what? PD on the other hand loved that ending. Oh, fuck it. Like I like the sentiment of it. How it was executed is mind numbing to me. What, what are we talking about now? I'm so confused. That's Eva's ending. We're talking ending. about the ending of Shin Godzilla, when everyone everyone. goes around Godzilla and says congratulations. <laughs> they essentially do that, too. They? They, they gotta sit around for a minute and just jack each other off about how brilliant they are in Shin. <laughs> oh, God. As long as Godzilla stays cold. Yeah, that was honestly a, a, a really uncomfortable scene for me to watch them jack e jacking each other off. I didn't need to see that. <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm metaphorically, the, but there's the mutual scene. the mutual hand job scene in Shin Godzilla. You remember that act? <laughs> and you know that's that's really the core conflict in the movie because Shin Godzilla he can't reach down there with those tiny arms. <laughs> <laughs> Does arms even move at all in that movie? Like, don't uh, remember okay. that movie at all. Like, I think. Fucking, uh... <laughs> I remember the scene in the Land Before Time where Littlefoot's like, he can't swim at all with those tiny arms. I'm imagining that, but with Jack. <laughs> Why, TT? Yeah, Jack, what with these tiny arms? Uh, TT. That's, that's how they want. Why not? Oh, I play Mac. Why are you playing me for? <laughs> I don't know. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? If you think about it, what didn't you do, Ack? 
I didn't do anything bad. <laughs> I also didn't do your mom either. <laughs> well, that's good. I know that's good. Yeah. I, I was trying to be clever. I'm struggling so bad, I feel bad about it. I can't be funny. That's okay. I'm not funny. I'm, I feel bad for not being funny. Oh, you're funny. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. funny. Probably too. You don't have to be us. You just have to be you. But I want to be funny. I want to make people laugh their asses off so hard they die. Like some people just have trouble being funny. It's fine. But yeah, take these little pills. You know, I mean, look. Like, it all gone. Jimmy Fallon has trouble being funny, and he's got the Tonight Show. Oh fuck. <laughs> Trouble? Yeah. I don't remember him being funny for a long while. I mean, I was gonna say Peter Griffin tries to be funny, but you know, whatever. Look, Family Guy in general has maybe two jokes which are decent, and that's it. No, it just has two jokes in general. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> it's got more than that. It's just no, it's got it such a long history that it's gotta have more than that. It's got two it's jokes okay in general, like they just guy. use them in different ways. Like, as bad as The Simpsons keeps trying new jokes, but none of them are funny. <laughs> Boy, if I had any subscribers, I'd be worried about losing them. Welcome. <laughs> they can't take the truth. They don't deserve to be here. So, so Homer wrote the Odyssey, right? Yeah. What if Homer Simpson wrote the Odyssey? It'd be about oh, oh my god, man! Dead. It's all of mine. <laughs> <laughs> All it would be would be about would be about donuts and how much he wants to screw his mother while eating donuts or something. You know, yeah. Homer. It'd just be no. worse my beer. Homer's Oedipal everything. complex has been well established by the show. Like I could see Homer wanting to get home, not just get the king of donuts. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, Polly. Exactly. So, oh my god, this is a Zelda game! It is a Zelda game! Be fun if someone took that mini-series Chernobyl and edited Homer Simpson into every scene. <laughs> Are you sure you mean <laughs> fun? <laughs> oh, god, I oh, I need that. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you trying to kill your... Needs to be why are you trying to kill Once the flame is hot and the billows are working. Because the talk button is the same as swing sword button. <laughs> also, no one would fucking notice if Biffer died. Apparently, you know... Apparently, the like Russia was super pissed about the Chernobyl miniseries, and they had um, like one one group was 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 calling for the creators of the series to be sued for libel, and another group was like, "We're gonna make our own Chernobyl miniseries that exposes the truth that Chernobyl only went nuclear because of a CIA agent from America who sabotaged it." What if that's the version that has Homer Simpson? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Jesus, Russia, you have better things to worry about. Do they, though? No. Actually, yeah. Like <laughs> everything in Russia. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like, fucking Russia's bear. not exactly imploding on itself, it has issues. Like, you have more <laughs> pressing matters than some fucking TV series that nobody something. cares about. I just realized something. Russia is the Karen of countries. I just like that Russia is just now realizing that everyone views the Chernobyl disaster as a huge failure on their part, and they're like, uh, no, no, actually, we were super cool, and it wasn't our fault that everything our shitty working. nuclear reactor blew up. You need a mood of the treasury key before you can use the forge. The well, if you watch the Transformers, clearly it was the Transformers' fault. You need to find some way Somehow. to lower the throne. If you wish to forge a new key. See, uh, that was, uh, that, that, that sentiment was hurt by the if you watch Transformers part. <laughs> oh. Also, if you cared about the movie lore. I mean, Michael Bay doesn't, so. So this is how you make keys. Right? This is how forge is working. Yeah, essentially. Yes, that is indeed how it's for war. Uh, TT. Yeah? Did you hear about the Black Bird of Chernobyl? Um, I think so. Yeah, the Mothman that, that sort of showed up? Yeah. Like, I, I don't know if it's true, but... Uh, I mean, 
<laughs> it probably isn't, but now there's the real Mothman. There's no reason we can't believe it's true in our hearts. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, the no, question is, Mothman is believes in you too. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't believe in me. I live in Ohio, and I never saw him. I mean, that's a good thing. Or else there'd be some big disaster. It's because he's native to Virginia, Ack. I thought it was an Ohio <laughs> thing too. I mean, there are right. there are there are Mothmen everywhere, but the Mothman is in Virginia. I guess we just have the Grassman. He's in Virginia. No, so. Yes. so is grass in your vagina. Almost heaven, West Virginia, <laughs> fucking Mothman, warning <laughs> of disaster. You're doing it wrong, TT. And a Sasquatch wearing fancy pants. Every day I wish that I could move to France. Country roads. Why would you want to move to France? Because <laughs> rhyme move to with pants. <laughs> West Virginia. <laughs> yeah. Cotton eyeballs. Country roads. Oh my god. All right. Oh. <coughs> so if anybody's been paying attention with, it's probably nobody, which is fine. Uh, me. Yeah. I'm supposed to go to the throne and lower it down so I can get another key mold. That's all we're doing. How are we really Sounds like a lot of busy work. It is. That's what Erebor is. It's a lot of busy work because the dwarves don't want to do anything. <laughs> Also, Billow seems like the only capable person all of the world. Welcome to the Hobbits. <laughs> besides, besides Bo, besides what's his name, the Bowman, Bard, Bard, because you know he actually shoots the fucking dragon. Yeah, but then he start yeah. tries to start a war. So, well, oh. to be fair, he just wants some of the gold. So, hey, you know my whole entire village kind of got fucked because you guys went up there and pissed off the dragon. So, I think we're a little entitled to some conversation. I think it's a fair thing. But then the elves came along and they made it worse. Like always. The elves did not come along and make it worse. The elves came along to help the humans. And they said, well, if you're gonna go to war over this bullshit, we're leaving. I thought the elves wanted the gold, too. Nope. No, no, they wanted the stars. Nope. They didn't want anything in the book. They came literally just to help the humans. And then when the humans decided that they were going to go to war because the dwarves weren't going to give them any gold, they're like, okay, fuck you, I'm out. So why did they join the war then? To because make lots of money. Because they got pinched between a rock and a goblins. I could I could have sworn there. Were... The, the, <laughs> the the cartoon makes it a bit more simple. Maybe that's what I'm wondering. I've only read the book like Five times. Maybe. So, it, the, in the books, the elves are the more chill bit of it. Although I do recall they wanted the or something. <coughs> they didn't want anything. Didn't the dwarves have something? No. I the dwarves had something. In the movie, everyone wanted the Arkenstone. Because it was perfectly shaped to fit up a butthole. Um, no, what is your fetish with anal sex, TT? It's just funny to talk about shoving things up people's asses. You no, know, when I say butthole, yeah. everybody finds it funny. Why, why are you turning every joke into a fetish? Sometimes a joke is just a joke, Sigmund I'm Freud. Just saying, I say butt thug, everybody finds it funny. You say butt thug, everybody smiles. Oh. Uh, so, yeah. It's because I've spent several years cultivating a specific sense of humor. I wish I had a sense of humor. Well, maybe go I steal more time to developing word. it. I'm just repeating the same word over and over again, and calling people it is not not a funny thing. I mean, if you want my sense of humor, you gotta do what I did to get it, which is get bullied a lot until you learn that if you just like get really good at making insults and jokes, people leave you alone. Okay, so I did the first part of that, but I couldn't do the second. Part. Well, see, there you there's your problem. You gotta go back to like like, public school and get your ass bullied the right way. 
You know, it, it's a sad thing I can't get bullied right. <coughs> you know you're fucked up when you can't get bullied right. <laughs> yeah, so, The Hobbit. Yeah, The Hobbit. Did, okay, so did he get bullied right? The Hobbit. The so Hobbit. he got bullied right. I'm sure he did. Well, he did get pushed into a dragon's cave by like seven bigger dwarves. He didn't really get pushed, he just kind of decided to go in there even though he knew it was a bad idea. He was coerced. He to be coerced. technical, he was paid. Well, he promise of pay anyway. <laughs> hmm. It's like, oh, oh I get to take all of this shit from you, annoying shitbags? Fine. Let's go. You'll never see it again, and I'll literally use it on doilies. Okay. Oh, okay. you're avoiding spires. Like, what are you oh, doing invisible? Hobbit, Hobbit, West Virginia, Blue so... Ridge Hobbit. T -T. Hobbit That's in it. your hob, lobby hob. T T. Hobbit hob. T T. Hob. Yeah. He's just gonna go. Just let him go. I know. <laughs> He'll tire himself out eventually. West Virginia! I just wanted to sing the song from Pocahontas. You know, mine, mine, but like in that voice. <sighs> Jesus Christ, where did all these fucking spiders come from? The wall. My wife. Those were both correct answers. <laughs> oh, I didn't know your um, 15 foot vampire wife in a turtle neck has a bunch of pet guys. She guys. just loves sending me spiders. What can I say? It's a sign of a healthy relationship. Well, well if you don't send your spouse gift spiders, then you're doing it wrong. It depends if they want spiders. No, <laughs> you just have to send them gift spiders. It's the law. My 15 foot vampire, you know, girlfriend, she's sending me gift spiders. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> it has to be has gift spiders, making... it can't be anything else. Has she been sending the poisonous ones too? Yeah, that's the they're best kind good. of gift spiders, because they're real pretty. There's like one good. space of the spider that's not venomous in the entire fucking world. But there's only yeah, so venomous. many that are poisonous, Zach. I don't even know if many of them are poisonous. <laughs> God damn it. Son of a bitch. Yeah, and here is the room of spiders, and hopefully this is the last bit of spider smashing that I have to do. So... Spider smashing. I didn't know you liked the case that way. No. No. We're gonna- we're gonna leave that one lay right where it is. <laughs> oh, Zayak. Fucking spiders off my nuts. I tried so goddamn hard. And came so far. And in the and end, in the it end, never even mattered. I think they both just started singing it as much off country as possible. Country Take me <laughs> home <laughs> to a place <laughs> full of stuff. <laughs> Eat a pita. Mama Mia. <laughs> Country roll. What the fuck? <laughs> I tried so far and came so hot. Wait. Hey, it's me, Mega Kaiju. I want to sing too. Please continue. Well done. Well done, Casey. <laughs> I like the immediate wait. <laughs> you almost out of air bar. I think we're almost out of air bar. You know, I like to think that I have an evil laugh, but I honestly don't know if I do or not. Could God make a hobbit so hot even he couldn't eat it? <laughs> what? No, no, for that, you, have to, you have to crossbreed it with another kind of hobbit to make the super kind of hot. The one that's not released yet to the public. Okay. So, like, we'd have to get a hobbit cross with a ghost pepper, then. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that was me pausing there to explain the bullshit that is the statue names. Yeah. I think I'm actually trying to write these down because I'm, I'm an idiot. I mean, you said, not me. Am I actually going to make an attempt to do that? 
I hope I don't. That's stupid. I don't know. You're kind of a glut of punishment for the rest of us. <coughs> Why would you do this past me? Play a Frenchman. Wear a top hat. Country rules. Considering we're all friends with TT, we're all gloves for punishment. <laughs> I am a gift and you know it. <laughs> You're a monkey's paw. <laughs> it's fair. I feel it's a very good comparison, too. Yep. Okay, who's talking to Nixon in the background? Me. God damn it, I just can't get enough of Richard Nixon in my life. I told you to stop Ooh. talking to Nixon, he's bad for you. <laughs> but he keeps telling me funny anecdotes about his time at the Watergate Hotel. <sighs> See, that's a joke because Richard Nixon was famous for his hatred of hotels. <laughs> that made a real funny joke based on some obscure Nixon trivia. I didn't know he hated hotels, actually. <laughs> Absolutely hated them, just despise the idea Any of a particular reason, or is it just, just a <laughs> He thought the little thing. soaps were insulting. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, well, she's doing it. You're doing it, Kay Callie. I oh, hope you know, know that. Why? This is dumb. You know what else is dumb? Richard Nixon? Yes. Well, I mean, you're not wrong. I I'm dumb? <laughs> is I? No, I am, though. It is I, Cardinal Dumb. Never mind. <laughs> Today we're going to eat five waffles. I must try to set up my own D&D character on my own, because I must be a big boy. I'm still <laughs> getting the hang of it. I, 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 I've, I've had help with both of mine. I opened one. I hope I stop after that. <laughs> well, I you do. cut it out anyway. I, I stopped after that. And I gotta go pick up a pizza, so I'll be right back. Go get that pizza. Almost heaven. Eating pizza. <laughs> Blue Ridge Mountains. Also made of pizza. Country roads. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that song in your head tonight? I don't know. Get it out. <laughs> I guess because we were talking about Virginia with the Mothman. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Mothman. <clears throat> okay. Oops. There are more spiders down here. Uh, you know you could leave them alone past me, right? You could just walk past them at this point and just go on with the rest of the game. Nope, you're not going to do that, are you? How far in the past is this you? Couple months. Uh, you are older and wiser now. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm only one of those things. So you're younger and wiser. Yeah, she's uh, she's <laughs> yeah, that how it works. The of time. She she got that Benjamin Button uh, powder. <laughs> you know that powder they made out of Benjamin Button's bones? It's very rare, oh. very expensive. Yeah, you gotta snort that shit. Uh, I I mean, it's much easier to make Wolverine bone powder. Yeah, but then you have to get a file and you kind of screech on them. Yeah, and it's yeah. kind of indestructible, so you're just sitting treasure there. behind those doors is worth more than all the shine. You have an infinite supply. To open the treasure chamber, you'll need a new key. The original was broken when West you smiled. Yeah. These <laughs> Go to the forge and ask Bifer to make a new one. Use ask Bifer to make to a new one. The like, you know... Each Don't actually ask by for making new one, just do it yourself. You need to pull all four <coughs> chains to lower the keyhole all the way. So it's not enough that I've got the key, I've got to lower the keyhole so I can reach it. Because yeah, it's course. not enough it's busy working. work yet. Yeah, it's fucking tedious. Of course, this game makes much more sense when you realize it has very little content. It, it really doesn't. It, it's doing this to make it as long as it possibly can be. So they can say that they had 30 hours of gameplay. This thing is stretching hard. It is stretching in preparation for the art stuff. It is stretching harder than a Fur Affinity OC. 
<laughs> wow, Raven. <laughs> Tom, uh, Tom Preston wrote this joke segment. Don't know who that is. Oh, okay. Excuse me. That's an expansion joke. Okay. Or oh, place. Dobson. Dobson! We got Dobson here! No one cares. <coughs> you might yeah. be wondering why I'm leaving the treasure room instead of pulling the chains. It's because I have to go up on the fucking, like, tram system to get up to where the chains are so I can put the fourth one on there because, you, if you didn't notice, it's not there. So that's another little bit, bit of busy work that would have happened if I hadn't already grabbed the chain. Lord. Of the rings? Yes. <laughs> Lord, Lord. Come to yes. Okay, take me home. Consider. To what the happens place if we throw the Doom Guy? This person is here. It's yeah. the Looty Notes. Hi. <laughs> you just snuck in here, didn't you? <laughs> when did you get in here? Did you get in here by when Raven was making the inflation joke or when no, Chi started <laughs> singing Country Roads? It was. It was like right at the end of whatever you were saying. Like I caught the last two. Minutes. <laughs> she was talking about the, the the game putting on the chain and whatnot. Oh. Anyways, you we're, we're talking about like this game stretching very hard because it has no content. I said, yeah, it's stretching harder than a fur affinity OC. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the reaction I had. <laughs> it's not wrong though. <laughs> Jesus, those OCs wish they uh, had the girth of this thing. <laughs> okay, let's ride this fucking tram, hopefully, right the hell out of Erebor. <laughs> right into hell! Bilbo's tired of being here, I'm tired of being here. I'm sure all of you are tired of being here. And I bet you're regretting that you actually came on here when I asked you to. Like, part of me is sad I fell asleep during the River Run segment, another part of me isn't. Oh! See? <laughs> I have to go all the way to the end of this, but the trams run directly over it, so if you're not paying attention, you're gonna get your ass run over. And it's great. Strange question. Just what lovely. If, what would happen if you threw Doom Guy at Sauron? They would both explode. <laughs> they Doom, would kiss. Doom guy would come out of it. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Doom guy and Lord of the Rings just roll around <laughs> punching fucking, you know, uh, I don't know what they called. Uh, Balrogs. Balrogs. Thank you. you. Just roll around punching Balrogs to death. <laughs> like suddenly, no Balrog wants to come to fucking Middle Earth. It's like you know, what? let's just stay here in our hole. That's where we belong. <laughs> you dug too it. deep, but uh, I'm gonna overlook it just this once. Yeah. Like, yeah. And then Doom Guy just <laughs> follows them anyway. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you I think that's you. gonna <laughs> stop me? <laughs> just pops in and goes, Oh, can you not be killed? I know how to deal with that. <laughs> that is the sound of every demon's, you know, One of the Balrog says to the others, Fly, you fools! <laughs> <laughs> I will hold him off! Crack! No, I won't! Okay, the glowing thing in the middle is the Ark and Stone. But of course, we've got some more chests first. And some more of this, this bullshit in the back corners. If you touch the Ark and Stone before you get this, you don't get these chests. <laughs> so, TT, you, you made a joke. About Thorin sticking this the up his ass, Arkenstone, it's gonna be really uncomfortable. The heart of the mountain. <laughs> oh, that is angular. <laughs> Thorin's into some weird shit. You're not oh. feeling pain. You're not feeling pleasure. Thorin, my boy, do you need more spikes? <laughs> Always. Oof. I'm really hoping to bleed to death from my ass. I'm really hoping that you do too. 
That is my preferred way to die. That Bilbo is my holy grail. Bilbo decided to stop the oh stupid and selfish war. Before it For some begin, reason, though, in the art, it's all smooth, so I don't know what happened in Thorin's ass. Of the treasure, it underwent it erosion, like it's a goddamn like, gem tumbler. That's how dwarves polish all their, their gems. The gold <laughs> Stick them up their ass and just dance <laughs> no. on the dance. A dwarven the asshole is very gritty, like a cat's tongue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Next day, oh, the legion oh, <laughs> Oh, it means they're never amazing. constipated, but it, it, it does make shitting I very uncomfortable. The they just stick gems up the their ass, they just get on the dance homes. floor and dance for like <laughs> half an hour, and they go, okay, it's done. The elves knew what it was no. to suffer under Smaug. And that is why they're known as the best the dancers in Middle Earth. Uh, also, I lied, there's more than one CGI cutscene in this so game. Oh? <laughs> It's about to happen, and it's... I forget how quickly this escalates. It's like, suddenly everyone. Then they're gone. Including the French. Nobody knows why the French got involved. Halt! Red has come. I'm going to eat all of you. The goblins of the North are coming. Gandalf. Behold, they ride upon wolves. Wolves. See to ignore you and fight everyone all the same. Fair enough. Gandalf <laughs> can't complain with your lot. <laughs> so I do like the uh, detail that they had there, where they had the giant bats that were the following the army for of Dwar of Gandalf, orcs. and joined oh. forces against the goblins. A lot of bullshit. A lot of uh, things overlook that. On Raven yeah. Among the elves. Yeah. So. There were giant bats. The next video is the absolute end of this LP, and luckily wow. it is very quick. And there are no puzzles. There is just combat. It's almost as quick. Something as the fucking. Sorry. So something is actually going to happen next video. You might have to pay attention for two seconds. Really? <laughs> oh, it looks like I missed all. The... But like the only two seconds of the game you have to ever pay attention to. Yes. Maybe. <laughs>